everybody I am here for video two um I posted my first video last week and so now it's time for the second video um so everyone that watched the first video you already know that there was a big announcement at the end if you haven't seen the first video go back and watch the first video and um pay close attention to what my son AJ does because he's the one that basically makes the big reveal um so well I'm getting ready to tell you anyway what what the reveal is anyway which is another pregnancy yay so um this of course um will be my uh my second birth um <laughs> and so i'm i'm excited and nervous all at the same time more so excited my nervousness um about it is you know it's very little but it's still there and basically it's just wondering how things are gonna go once this baby arrives like i have aj um which um he'll be like two months from turning two years old and then i'll have a newborn so it, i'm just wondering like how in the world am i gonna balance all of this um how is all this gonna work out how is he going to respond to not being the only child anymore and have this you know smaller baby in the house I'm in my um my office right now and I have my husband and my son AJ I don't know if you all can hear AJ growling but he's back there growling y'all want to say hi hello <laughs> there's my husband Angelo and then my little one year old hey, hey, AJ. AJ say hey <laughs> say hi say hi cause you light waving in the camera say hi you wanna growl yeah. okay <laughs> so if you hear him growling that's, that's what he's doing <laughs> so I have baby number two on the way right now as I'm recording I am 11 weeks but by the time I vote, post this um, video which will be um, Monday um, I will be 12 weeks Woo! so <laughs> So I'm gonna update on the last 11, 12 weeks of pregnancy. Um, it's been pretty much like um, my pregnancy with AJ. Um, of course, it came as a surprise. Like I wasn't even expecting to be pregnant, and um, I, I, of course, my um, my cycle was late. But I just figured, you know, it's just kind of been a little out of whack anyway since I had AJ. So, I just figured it's just a few days late or whatever. It's going to show up. Eventually, it was like a week late. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> and I was at work one day. And, um, and I teach middle school. And this particular day... I was extremely tired so I was y'all I was literally so tired I really I couldn't do my job I couldn't teach so I gave the kids something to um you know to work on quietly because I truly felt like I was about to just pass out um from tiredness and so I was like what is going on with me and so then you know I realized okay I'm extremely tired um, my cycle hasn't come on yet, so I was like, okay, maybe I need to go and take a pregnancy test just to rule that out. That was my thinking, to rule it out. And I go and buy two pregnancy tests, and I took the first one, and it came up positive, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. So then I took the second one and it came up positive to nice dark lines. Mm -hmm. And I was like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so 
complete surprise for me, especially since I really had my mind set on a May baby. Like, I wanted my next baby to be a girl, and I wanted her to be born in May. And, yeah, so, once again, you know, God keeps reminding me, like, why, why do you keep doing this? <laughs> These are my plans, not yours. So, <laughs> so, of course, um... We will have our new edition in December. Yay! So, um, I finished up my last day of school, um, basically yesterday. So, I am on summer vacation, so I'm going to be spending the next two months resting and, you know, doing everything I can to get ready for this baby. So, I haven't bought anything yet, um, which every time I remember remember or I think about it, I'm a little surprised. Like, wow, I haven't ran to the stores to buy baby clothes yet? Um, but I haven't. But now that I'm on vacation, I'm going to be spending um, time, you know, just getting things ready for the baby's arrival in December. Um, and I'm hoping that I get to buy some pink things. Yay! <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so well, girl. So, uh, yeah. You can do yellow, turquoise. You got to be pink. But, um, turquoise and pink would be cute. Tur turquoise. And turquoise and pink together. <sighs> That don't match. That's, that's cute. It it you have to see it together. It'll be that'll yeah, be cute. But yeah, so yeah, just in case you haven't figured out, I'm hoping for a girl. Um uh let's see. Alright, so I started off with the tiredness and the tiredness, oh my gosh, y'all, just it's like nothing else. It's not like you know, oh, it's been a long day at work. I'm tired. I'm going to take a nap, get refreshed. No, I can take as many naps as I want and still wake up like mm, I can't do anything. Um, but that actually got better at 11 weeks. Um, I just all of a sudden just felt energetic. I thought really I just had um, a boost of energy because it was the end of the school year. So I just had a little bit of excitement, so I just figured that's what it was. But I think really I was just getting through the phase of the whole tiredness. Um, morning sickness, aka all day sickness. I don't even know why it's called morning sickness. Um, because it's all day. Um, I'm dealing with it right now. So, <laughs> all day, every day, I'm trying to basically keep myself from throwing up because I, I just I hate throwing up it's just mm. um especially after I've just eaten because I don't want to you know waste all that wonderful food so I'm still dealing with morning sickness um which I got an idea from a friend about um ginger tea so I'm actually gonna make me some um after I finish recording and I'm going to make me some um, ginger tea and see how that works. Um, I do have the nausea pills um, prescribed by my doctor, but um, that really is just a matter of remembering to take them. Because I, at one point I thought that they were contributing to my tiredness because, I mean, I just I could not fight it at all. And so I stopped taking them to see if it would get better and of course when I stopped taking them is when I ended up with the burst of energy um so I think I just been a little uneasy about taking them again thinking that maybe I'll go back to being tired and drowsy again um which I guess now that I'm on vacation I can do that just sleep um so yeah so that's really the main things I've been dealing with is the tiredness and the morning all day sickness. Um, food aversions. I hate that. I hate food aversions because it's like 
The things that I usually like to eat taste disgusting. Um, or things that I don't usually like, I all of a sudden, like, it tastes really, really good. And it's just, it's weird. Um, so with me, the food aversion is like, um, it's, it's like just gross aftertaste. So with my pregnancy with AJ, I had to stop eating rice because rice just every time I ate rice, it was it was I had, it was it was gross. Um, I couldn't eat um any meat anyway because every time I ate meat um with him, I would get sick. So I didn't eat meat through um my whole pregnancy with him. And so, to basically substitute for um, protein, I started drinking those organ shakes. And I think that contributed to all of my weight gain and AJ's weight gain when he was born. Because he was an 8-pound baby and I never imagined having um, a baby <laughs> that big because I'm small. So, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to have my little 5-6 pound babies. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> so he came out eight pounds, like, oh, it, and it felt like it, because, oh my goodness, he was heavy. Um, so yeah, so this time around, um, I'm still eating meat, okay, so meat doesn't have an effect on me this time. Um, I'm having trouble eating fruit. Fruit is basically, it's, it's having that gross, disgusting aftertaste, like when I ate rice with when I was pregnant with AJ. Um, but I try to eat it, you know, anyway, so I can have that balance of fruit and veggies. I really don't like veggies, but um, they're good for you. Um, so that's where my Nutribullet comes in, because I have a Nutribullet and use that to make my, um, my smoothie, so that way I can at least get in um, some servings of vegetables. In a um, non stressful, force, <laughs> forceful manner. <laughs> At least I can have my vegetables in a fun way. Um, so, yeah, so that's pretty much all that's going on with this um, pregnancy is the tiredness, sickness. Um, food aversions, um, of course, the mood swings are, like, all over the place. It's normal. He can probably, um, yeah, testify yes. to that. Yes. He'd be okay. Oh. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they all over the place. All of my, you know, road rage is just, you know. Back in effect, but not bad though. Not bad. I just okay, just going down the road. So yeah. Um. Um. Yeah. You on the phone? Hi. Hi. <laughs> um. So pregnancy and fitness right now. Because of the tiredness and because of the nauseousness all the time, basically, fitness is non-existent for me right now. But as soon as, as soon as I start to feel, you know, better, I'm gonna um go ahead and get that going because I've already been thinking about some things that um I want to do. I want to definitely, you know, um put my um my dumbbells to use and you know strengthen up, you know, my arms and everything and strengthen up um my legs. So that's really what I want to do. I want to strengthen my muscles, especially my legs. Well, my legs probably don't need any more strength. But um <laughs> but my legs and my pelvic area, all of that. Oh, and my back. Oh my goodness, yes. My back. Um so all of those muscles um getting ready for um this baby because with AJ it was like um I was still in like the 20 something weeks and it was getting really hard to walk and um I don't I don't want to have to you know go through that 
again. I want to be able to be strong enough to walk mm -hmm. normally and still carry um, my baby. So I want to do that. Um, strengthening my muscles and um, stretching. I need to get a whole lot better at um, stretching. Stretching my muscles and everything. Once again, getting ready for birth. Um, so that's what I want to um, work on. Once I have like some, you know, certain routines or whatnot going, I will um, definitely share that um, with everyone. Um, and so fitness and also the eating properly, which I'm about to, you know, get better at that, um, too, because the past maybe, you know, two weeks, I kind of just like, you know what, it's whatever right now. Um, because, you know, just trying to finish out the school year, but now that I am on vacation, um, I'm gonna, um, work on that, getting in more of those fruits and veggies and, um, all those really good nutrients that I really need to have and <clears throat> getting away from a lot of the um, processed stuff and eating more um, fresh things. Um, another thing that I am dealing with, which, you know, is not really new, but, um, well, for me is new. Um, it's basically dealing with um, pregnancy and a toddler. So before, you know, I, I just had, you know, it was just pregnancy. But now it's pregnancy with a toddler. And I just, I, it, that's hard. Because, <laughs> you, know, you know, I get home from work and all I want to do is just lay down and sleep. Like eat something and go to sleep. But I have a toddler who wants to, you know, run around and he wants to play and he wants to jump and he wants to throw things and, you know, he wants to find things. He wants to, you know, explore things like, oh, what is this? And pull things down. And so it's like, you know, oh, gosh, how how am I how am I going to work this out? How am I going to do this? I've been doing it, though, um, mostly by, you know, when I get home, we both eat snack or munch on something and then we will both go take a nap and then <laughs> and then we'll wake up and I'll play with them and then feed them dinner and then put them to bed and then I go to bed um so yeah but then there's you know those days that he doesn't want to take a nap and so that's those are the the, the days that it's it's a little hard because it's you know I'm tired and he, poor little thing, he wants to play. So, that's one thing that I'm, you know, I'm learning to, like, figure out. And I'm really wondering how am I going to do all this once I get bigger. Because um, I honestly, I've been trying to figure out how am I going to put AJ in his crib when my belly is too big for me to reach over the crib. Because um, <laughs> I'm like, I'm... I'm I'm going to need some help with that or I'm wondering if I need to go ahead and start getting him ready for his toddler bed. Um, so any advice y'all have on that, let me know. So yeah, so that's what I'm trying to figure I wanna out. I want to say this about um, what I mentioned in my first video. In the first one, I mentioned um, the whole organization thing and I asked the question about how you all... Um, that are organized how do you stay organized and I got some um, responses in the comments and I've been checking those things out and I have to say I am super super excited so I've gained um, a few ideas for organizing and if you all can see my office here it's just it's a mess so um I'm gonna be working on all of this. So I got the whole summer. Hopefully, you know, this energy will stay <laughs> built up. This morning sickness will start to, you know, ease and I can really, you know, start, you know, getting some things done. So I'm excited about that. And um, I thank y'all for your help and your suggestions on that. Um, 
But yeah, I never would have thought that I would say something like I'm excited about organization and getting organized, but I am. I'm I'm so excited. I am excited. I'm so excited. Um <laughs> so yeah. So with that being said, let me move on to the next segment, which is the questions. All right, so question um number one. What are you doing? Question number one, um, what are some of the things that you all eat um, during your pregnancy? I, I've i heard a lot of um, <laughs> a lot of women share like a lot of uh, junk that they eat. I have no problem with, with finding junk to eat. So I guess my question is, what are some of the healthy things that you all eat during your pregnancy? Because that is what I really need the help with especially snacks like what are some healthy snacks that you all um eat during your pregnancy um because i'm i'm the type i like let me say this i like fun foods like um like i like finger foods like you know you know nuggets and chicken strips with different dips and stuff i like things like that so trying to find um a healthy snack is just kind of like it's like I, I'm pretty sure it's probably common sense, but just when you're trying to figure it out, it's like you can't think, and it's like I have no idea, I don't know. So, um, so what are some? You want to talk on the camera? So, what are some healthy snacks that you all um, have? So healthy snacks, healthy dinners um, that you all eat during your pregnancies. Um, what you got? You got a card? Yeah. Okay. All right, so my question, um, my second question, question number two, is how, what are some ways that you all, um, <laughs> what are some ways that you all um, balance pregnancy and a toddler? Um, and let me also add that um, for me and my husband, the reason why I ask about balancing the pregnancy and um and the toddler is because um our work hours that we work so when i'm i'm teaching of course i'm on some vacation now so i'm home all day this summer but while working um basically i'm you know first shift so eight in the morning to about four in the afternoon my husband works from four in the afternoon to 12 midnight so while he's at work i'm at home with um this cute guy Say hi. So I'm at home hi. with this. Hi. So I'm at home with this cute little guy, and also with um, this one here. So um, I'm just wondering, you know, what are some <coughs> some tips for how to balance that when you're basically, you know, um, by yourself. Cause it's easy, you know, if I'm tired, you know, if my husband's here, you know, he'll take AJ and, you know, yeah. So, while he's at work, so then that's where my challenge comes in. So, I need to share that so that way you all understand what exactly I'm looking for. Um, for ideas with that. So... Um, our last segment here is the inspiration. So, um, for me, I want to, I want to share that, um, pregnancy basically reminds me of how God has a plan for each and every one of us. And it reminds me of that because as, you know, you have this child, you know, growing, um, inside of you, you're, you, you realize that, you know, um, whether you plan it or not, God planned this and he ha has a plan for this child. And we may not know completely what that plan is and what all he really has in store, but we know that there is a plan that's brewing here. And I know that there's one brewing right here. Um. So it brings me to um, Jeremiah 29 and 11, which reads, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future 
and a hope. So that basically just makes me even more excited about pregnancy and just knowing that, you know, he has, you know, he has plans for us and this is part of his plan and he has a plan for this child and so now I'm excited to see all that's in store for this child and what they're going to grow up to be and what they're going to grow up um to do and achieve so it's just it's it's really exciting and for me I'm the type of person that you know has to know every little detail so it basically teaches me to um sit back and let God be in control and when he's in control I know that he has plans of welfare and of hope. So I just sit back and and I have, you know, joy because it's like I know it's going to be something good. I know it's going to be something great. Um, and it also brings me um, to the beginning of Jeremiah. Um, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. So he, once again, God already has plans for us, and he already has plans for this child. And basically, it's just a blessing for me that I get the gift of, carrying and birthing out this child that God has a plan for. And basically, for those of you that are um, also pregnant or plan to be pregnant in the future, um, keep that in mind that, you know, it's, it's all a plan of God's, whether we plan it or not, because I didn't plan this, but it's, it is such a blessing and such a wonderful happy surprise so i just you know I, I thank god for this precious little gift that we're having and and i just I, I i thank god for all of the precious little gifts that you all that are having um upcoming babies i i i'm, I'm thankful for yours also and just just so excited about it and just so excited about the plans that God has for us if we just really just sit and just take the time to just follow his will and follow what he has planned for us and stop trying so hard to be in control of every single thing because that's something that I'm definitely you know having to work on and when you really just just let him lead the way and let let him <laughs> work out his plan it's it, it's wonderful and you can't be anything but happy oh so i um almost forgot the other thing um as far as pregnancy symptom um i've been feeling um like just a little discomfort um in my abdomen and i just basically just figure that that's just um, excuse me, um, just my uterus growing, stretching. Um, so there's that going on. I feel that every now and then. Um, another thing that I did not realize happens with second pregnancies or pregnancies after the first one is that everything just moves along pretty fast and gets bigger earlier. Like, I, I'm, um... 11 weeks, like I said, I'm 11 weeks recording this, but when I post it, um, <laughs> the day after tomorrow, um, I'll be 12 weeks, but I look like, um, five months. It's crazy, but everyone keeps telling me that it's, it's normal and <laughs> it's, that's what happens. So, um, oh, and also weight, weight gain. I haven't gained any weight with the nauseousness. I basically have lost weight. Um, so yeah, I've lost like about a pound since my last video last week. Um, so yeah, so let me show y'all what my belly looks like. Like it's, it's huge. It really is. So with the dress on, 
there but when I turn to the side this is what I have and it this happened like at 10 weeks so at 10 weeks all of a sudden just whoosh it just um it, it got bigger and I was like what is going on so yeah so that's 12 weeks right there and um I can sort of feel like you know little flutters a little bit so baby's like like here so I don't even know what the rest of this is I don't know but it's not going anywhere so so yeah with all of that being said I'm gonna go ahead and bring this video to an end I hope you all have enjoyed it um <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed um, the appearances of my husband and little AJ, um, they are, they're, they're just my heart. So I will see you all next week, once again, next Monday, and I hope you all have a great week and a wonderful start to the summer. Yay! All right, and I'll see you all later.